Hey, Rob here in Moab, Utah for Easter Jeep Safari with our beloved JTE. We're having a great time at this year's safari, and I wanted to take just a minute to give you guys an update at some of the additions and changes we've made to our truck since the last time you've seen it at the SEMA show. I also wanted to give you a quick update on our 50 for 50 project. Of course, one of the biggest influences into the JTE build. We're coming to a close on that project that we kicked off two years ago, completing a trail cleanup in each one of the 50 states with our partnership through Tread Lightly. Now, why don't we go ahead and get started by just taking a look at our JTE here. And I wanted to call out some of the brand new products, as well as some of the products that have been around for quite some time, but we've added to our JTE. Now, right up front here, we've made a lot of lighting additions. We've got our brand new Stealth Light pods on here, the five inch and the three and a half inch version mounted here. Those are brand new, and we wanted to put them to the test out here in Moab. We also swapped out our headlights in favor of our tactic headlights here. Have a lot of function there and have really worked out well for us so far out here in the desert. Now, as we make our way around, of course, one of the first things that really jumps out is the change we made to the wheels. We switched out those bronze Lynx wheels in favor of our white CJ retro alloy wheel. I think this wagon wheel looks great with the two-door pickup truck. Uh, of course, these wheels are available in either your choice of white or black. The white comes with a chrome center cap. The black comes with a black center cap. We had to customize it just a bit and go with those bronze center caps to tie into some of the other accents. Now, we also had to wrap some new rubber around those wheels. So we've got a set of 37 1250 Nitto Trail Grappler Mud Terrain tires. I think an aggressive, Mud train looks great on that wagon wheel. And I have to tell you, these trail grapplers have performed absolutely amazing on the trails here in Moab. A big thanks to our friends at Nitto for getting those trail grapplers on there. Now, as we move down here, you will notice our next generation stealth interior light bar. This is the Gen 2 stealth interior light bar giving you that dual white and amber function right there from the driver's seat, of course, with that great stealth look tucked inside we're not creating any wind noise or mounting any brackets to the outside. Of course, that works great because this is a four by E. So some of those classic windshield mounted light bar brackets don't necessarily work on our application here. As we keep going down our vehicle, we'll take a look inside. We've made some additions there as well. We've added some more goodies from Overland Outfitters to help us keep the interior of the Jeep organized and give us plenty of places to stash away everything we need for a day on the trails. We've got the roll bar buddies up here so we can keep our sunglasses tucked away, things like flashlights handy. We've also got the grab bar organizer there. It's a great place to keep things like our rescue tire deflators. Now down on the floor, we ditched that carpet in favor of some armor light flooring. It's super easy to rinse out at the end of a dirty day out on the trails, keeping that interior nice and clean. Now, of course, one of the other things that we had to address with the addition of a lot of new lighting to the JTE was a way to control all that. So right up there above the rear view mirror, we have a trigger six shooter accessory control switch bank. Makes controlling all of our lights really easy and really convenient because we can control them either from our phone using the Bluetooth app or right there from the RF switches and check this out. I can pull them right out of the Jeep that easily and activate any of the lights from virtually anywhere around the vehicle. Now, just below that switch bank is our brand motion full view rear view mirror with a lot of functionality packed into it. It's actually a forward and rear facing dash camera with the rear camera mounted back there in the tailgate. It's a standard mirror, also a live view monitor showing us what's behind us. And I'll show you why that's important in just a moment. Of course, one of the last additions we made up here to the cab was our best top Sunrider for hard top and that great looking black twill material added on to our custom shortened Gladiator hardtop. It allows us to quickly and easily open up that hardtop when we have these beautiful days out on the trails here in Moab. So moving back to the bed, I'll show you why that full view rear view camera is important because we've moved our spare tire into a vertical position right there at the back of the cab with an AV Gladiator spare tire mount. It tucks it up nice and neat there, allows us to bring it along for the day on the trails while still keeping our bed open for grabbing trash or hauling materials out for any of those tread lightly work projects that we've used 
the JTE on so many before. As we look up on top of that bar, you'll notice some of those large seven inch stealth LED lights up there with a lot of functionality, amber and white daytime running lights, as well as the main beam. And I have to tell you, those things are intensely bright. I can't wait for you guys to see just how well those lights work. If we drop the tailgate, we've also added some stuff in the bed here. We have the high lift accessory rails on each side of the bed, allow us to tie down stuff that we have in the bed or even keep things like our rescue gloves handy there for us. Of course, we've got an ARB Elements fridge mounted here to keep our lunch and our drinks cool on the trail. If I close up the tailgate, one of the things we don't see back here at the back of the truck is an exhaust poking out. Even though this is a four by E platform, of course it does still have that two liter turbo. And we had to think about a custom routed exhaust for that. So we dropped the JTE off with our friends at AWE and they welded up a custom catback exhaust for us. Sounds great when that engine kicks in and we're not running in full electric mode. Now back here on the tailgate, one of the last things I wanted to point out here is our map for our 50 for 50 project, almost fully completed. We have two states left to go. Both of those projects are happening this week and that'll round out our 50 for 50 initiative with our partnership through Tread Lightly. I can't say thank you enough to those guys for helping to facilitate cleanup projects, work days, trail cleanups, a whole gamut of different projects, one in each one of the 50 states over the past two years that we kicked off right here in Moab, Utah. Now, if you wanna find more information out about the 50 for 50 project, the JTE, or any of the products that you see on the truck behind me or that I went over today, you can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com. While you're there, you can check out the Torque blog for all of that information, as well as plenty of coverage right here from Easter Jeep Safari. If you haven't already and you like these videos, guys, do me a huge favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well as the notification icon, so be sure to catch all of our latest videos. Till next time, I'm Rob, I'll see you out on the trail.